if you're coming from Chicago or anywhere west and you're going to go to Drina's on 94, 8094, you are going to head east on 8094 and you are going to go past the 65 exits. You don't want to, you don't want to get off on anywhere on 65. You just want to keep going east on 8094. Again, if you're coming west on 8094, the, the exit you want to look for is the Ripley Street exit, or 51, it's, it's called 51 in Ripley. That's a mile and a half down the road here. Okay, from all the people coming from west on 8094, we are approaching the Ripley Street exit. Now, in the, when the traffic is real heavy, you got to get to your right because these truckers will take up all these lanes and squeeze you out. So you got to get in the right lane, well in front of uh, the Ripley Street exit, or you're going to be because there's a lot of truck stops right in this area, and a lot of truckers are getting on and off uh, the uh, freeway here. So there is the exit coming up right now as you're going to Drina as you get off on the Ripley Street exit. Once you take that exit which is going to go to the right and then head you south on Highway 51. You continue all the way until you start, it turns into 130, and then we'll pick up from there. Also, be careful as you're coming off the Ripley Street exit there uh, with the traffic on your left and uh, being able to merge. It gets a little tricky sometimes in the high traffic hours. Right now, not much traffic, and you can just zoom right on to the uh, 51. You're in Lake Station. You just continue on until you get to 130. As you're coming on 51, heading for Drina's, you just go past through Lake Station. You continue on to Route 6, and continue on until it turns into 130. Okay, you're now heading east on 130 and you're coming up to a stop sign which is at County Line Road. So we're going to be leaving Lake County and heading into Porter County. That's why Drina's is not really in Hobart, that's just a mailing address. It is in Porter County, Portage Township, and uh, you know, much more like Portage than it is anything else. As you can see on the right over there is the sign, Porter County, Lake County Line and we're on County Line Road. Now here's the tricky part for you people at night and even in the daytime the next turn to the left is you gotta really watch for it and uh, we're going to show you that here in a minute as you head east on 130 and it's, a, it's about a mile down the road and you're going to turn left. Now, it's not really even a mile down the road, it's about a half mile here and you got to be it does it's not obvious. You see there's a there's a vehicle coming out from the left. And now you see the sign blast camp on your right, that's where you gotta turn. Turn left at the blast camp sign. And until you see ahead, not too far ahead will be a sign that uh, either says a Duck Creek Golf Course or Trinas. But it's not very far. You pass the first turn to the left, and it's your second turn to the left. Again, going north. And you're just about there. And as you see off to my left, the Drina's and Duck Creek Golf Course signs. Now, in case that sign's ever down, it's the second turn to the left on 600 North. And it goes, it's called 700 West. And from there, you just drive north a very short distance and keep looking to your left. And as you can see up here on your left, there'll be a sign at the entrance. See, you didn't go very far because I didn't turn the camera off. And there it is, Duck Creek Golf Course and Trina's Bar and Grill. And you just turn the left into the parking, uh, the road that takes you to Trina's. Now there's the the golf course is first, and you have to go straight down the road. It's hidden in the back. 